Hi everyone, this is Nick from Ministry of Superbike.com. Welcome to our Burak session for episode 4. And uh, today, I'm, I think it's late. I'm late for two days, but it's alright, it's better late than never. Anyway, uh, Salam PKP, I mean uh, FMCO to everyone. Uh, we are still stuck at home. This is the first day of the second session, so race two. Eh? And uh, today, PM just announced the phase Phase one, phase two, phase three, and I think we are going to stuck. Uh, bike is going to park at home, maybe at the end of the year. I do not know. You know, seriously. I mean, phase two, four thousand cases and below. It's going to take some time. So anyway, uh, what I'll do today is that uh, I'll refresh some of the news from last week. Okay, memang berita yang amat uh, menggemparkan dan juga amat membanggakan. Uh, where in FIM CV Moto Three. Our Malaysian uh, young talented rider in a Moto3. So uh, his name is Muhammad Sharifuddin Azman, and we all know him as Damo. And he starts from uh, P10 in the starting grid in race one, round three in Spain, and he won. Okay, from starting P10, he he win he win the race uh, starting from P10 in race one, but unfortunately in race two. Uh, he got hit by somebody else. Okay, now let's take a look at the the uh, the great moment where he actually had the opportunity. Take take a look here. So this is turn ten during the final lap. There you go. All the first run, four run wide, and he had this great opportunity to overtake, and he crossed the finish line, winning his first race in FIM CEV Moto Three. So this is a great achievement from fellow Malaysian. I'm so happy to see this. Actually, I was shouting yesterday. I uh, I'm actually have to choose between watching WSBK or FIM CEV. So I choose to watch FIM CEV because our fellow Malaysian inside. It's not just one, okay? In the Moto2 race, we have uh, Adam. Adam, actually, he he started race one and race two from uh, P5, starting grid. But in race one, I think he did not finish. And in race two, he finished. He managed to clinch one spot. So he finished fourth. So both of them did uh, mention a very good job. So we are very proud of him. And I think uh, Dr. Razlan is very happy as well. And honestly, I think in maybe next year or another year to come, we will see some new faces in Moto3, MotoGP in the Petronas Sapang Racing Team. So we never know. Let's hope for the best anyway. Uh, so that is the news, the race news for this session of episode Bora. I'm going to drag too long because... The main uh, thing that I'm going to talk about today is to review one helmet, Shark Race Out Pro GP. Okay, let me get it prepared. Okay, so what I have here... New box, you know, the distributor of Shark Helmets in Malaysia is none other than Windmaster. And uh, the distribute, the boss is actually Ron, uh, one of my very good friends. So he's, he grabbed this to me, actually quite some time back. I think this has been with me for the past two months. I have another few helmets behind. Not this one, this is mine. The one behind in the box. So I think I'll take some time during this MCO, FMCO to review. Okay. This is not going to be a very technical review. Uh, all the technical things, you can actually find it online a lot, to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to read everything and read it to you. I'm just going to share whatever things I know because I am uh, one uh, shark user as well. That's true on my bike. I didn't have much. So to unbox, uh, this is the Race R Pro GP edition. Yeah, uh, The one you see behind me, the one I've been wearing for quite some time, uh, that one is Shark Race R Pro. This is Race R Pro GP. So what I have here, uh, normally, normally when you buy Race R Pro, it comes with a small cloth bag. So uh, the silver color cloth bag. But this one, it comes with free bag. Okay, free helmet bags. And I'm sure inside there's something else. Let me check the box whether they have anything else. No, it's empty. And uh, just let me open. Yeah. Looks good. Looks big. You can fit the glove inside as well. Okay. Inside this bag, what I can see here is actually 
Okay, this is the extra visor. This is the extra smoke visor. Let's open it up. Oh. Sorry. Because this is the uh, GP edition for Lorenzo, we have Lorenzo stickers in the box as well. That's cool. All right. So let me open it up. This is the extra visor that they give you. Okay, a smoke visor. I wouldn't want to take the sticker out because this is for review. I think we're going to sell it. Whoever get it, maybe I'm going to put my signature inside and it would. <laughs> the price is going to drop with my signature on top. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put it aside. And okay, now let's go to the helmet. Okay, this is the soft back that I mentioned. It comes with the normal standard Shark Race R Pro. Okay, but. For this case, it comes with a nicer bag, blue color to match the whole bag thing. And uh, this is the Lorenzo edition. Just let me grab it. Now, see, when I, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you about this helmet, uh, my experience and my personal opinion. So, because I've been wearing it, like I said again, uh, for the past five years. So, I think I can share with you my personal experience in a very perfect way. So, now, uh, what you can see here, the main difference is uh, for this uh, GP edition, it has a huge, huge spoiler behind. Okay, and uh, over here, don't have, you see. So if I put this along it, you can see the difference. One has, one doesn't have it. Okay, now uh, there's a lot of uh, changes for this. Uh, basically, the shell is the same, uh, but uh, there's a few changes. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, Okay, sorry. I, I wrote up some of the details on top of the TV in front so that I can remember. Okay, now uh, first of all, okay, this shell is a, is a carbon is a carbon skin. Uh, previously, five years ago, I did review. We call it carbon aramid, but now they have this more fancy name. It's called carbon on view, and aramid structure is called kova structure. Sounds more technical. Okay, but actually, it's the same. It's the same shell. This shell, uh, and that's almost the same. Uh, basically, it's the same, okay? It has two, two sizes. Basically, you have S, M, X, but the shell comes with two sizes, not just changing the pad inside, okay? And it's very lightweight. Uh, it, it is, uh, I mean, being carbon, you know, it's very hard. So, uh, it is uh, resistant to both abrasion and also compression. And also, it has a very good shock absorbent. Okay, uh, touch wood, I've never felt before with this hammer, so I can't really tell whether it's how good is it. But so far, when I'm wearing it, it's really comfortable. Uh, when I go fast, you know, of course, there is some slight wind sound if you are riding on a naked bike like that, you know. But if, you're tuck, if you tuck in with a right aerodynamic, it's perfect. Okay, so uh, multi density EPS shell inside, okay. Uh, it has an optimal damping at each impact zone. Uh, I mean, just in case, normally from their experience, from the R&D, they know where you're going to fall, where you're going to hit the helmet, so it's very good. So, and also, the most important thing is, maybe you can't see here, okay? They both is the same. I'll take mine. It's easier for you to see. Now, it has a very ergonomic uh, visor. Also, it has one uh, grip over here. And uh, it's very easy for you to open the visor even with glove on so they have one small button over here okay it's very easy for you to open so very easy for the close as well and to remove this visor is very easy as well just by removing the clip maybe i can show you here okay just push it push at the side okay open it up a bit voila there you can open the you can open the visor it's very easy Okay, now for your sake, I'm going to remove the visor completely to share with you what's in so you can see inside better. All right, now, uh, okay, so I'll let me start with the visor. Now, the visor is uh, optical uh, class one rating. Okay, class one means top of the, it's the best rating. Uh, it doesn't distort the view of the rider because normally if it's curved, you know, now it's MCO, right? Uh, I use, I bought the face shield where it's made of acrylic as well. And when you wear it, you can actually see the floor is like wavy. It's not, the optic is very bad. But for this one, no, it doesn't happen. 
so you have less worry. You don't you don't even have to worry if you go fast. You know, uh, three hundred fifty kilometers per hour in track, not on the road. Of course, our bike can't do that unless you are riding H uh, two. So, but there's no place for you to do that in KL as well. I I, I don't know, but I've seen people do two nine nine or three hundred uh, So anyway, uh. This is good because it comes with uh, different, different, uh, what do you call that? Different thickness as well. The thinnest will be 2.8 mm to the thickest will be 4.2 mm. So this gives you a perfect curve, a perfect vision, perfect optics. And it's very hard as well. Uh, scratch, uh, you can resist scratch as well. So it's very good. And like I said again, it has two shell size, okay, depending on you, whether you are S, M, or L, or XL. So uh, if I'm not mistaken, L and XL is the shell size is a bit bigger and the M is a bit smaller. Okay. Now the extra benefit for shark is that you know when when you're riding, if you are wearing spectacles, or for those who are not wearing spectacles but you like to wear, if you are if you're putting on a clear visor, okay, and it's very sunny, you wanted to wear specs, you can you can actually slot your spec inside here. They call it the sharp easy fit. Okay, there's two holes inside. You can easily slot your specs inside, and uh, in case of any emergencies, it's easily removable. And now the upgrades, even though it's same, but as you can see from here, okay, let me show you the inside. What you see here is a brand new design, brand new uh, material as well. So it's more comfortable. Is uh, the padding, the density is different, the thickness, everything feels different. This is the older version, okay? It's very different. And in case of any emergencies, you can actually remove even the decoller easily. Now, another big difference is uh, what I was told and what I can see here as well. Uh, only this is the first time I'm checking this out. I've never seen this helmet before. But what I see here just now, when I feel it, the double D ring, this is made of mild steel, stainless steel. Okay, and for this GP edition, it is made of lightweight aluminium and a dice as well. It has colors on it. So these are the few uh, key differences. It has uh, five uh, inlets. Okay, they have five inlets, one here, one here, five inlets together, and they have seven extractors. So that gives you a very good air ventilation in your head, especially you can feel it, especially when you're Bota like me, you know. I used to have hair three years ago. Okay, now, uh, this is about it. Uh, there's nothing much to, there's nothing much for me, to, uh, nothing nothing much else for me to say. Uh, apart from uh, what I can tell you, my personal experience, this is very light, super light, okay. And uh, it's very solid. So even at Sepang during speed fest, when I tuck in, I may not be able to hit 350 kilometers mark, but I hit 270 on that bike. And it, your head doesn't wobble when you tuck in. It's very good. The, the vision is very good. Class 1 optic is really, really good. Now, price-wise, okay? The price, if I'm not mistaken, Ron told me the actual price was uh, 4999 And this time around, they have a promotion, okay? It's only 2999 Now, for more information, or if you need to know more about my in-depth review, of the Shark Race Out Pro, which is the same, okay? Basically, it's the same helmet. It just that have an extra, uh, what do you call that? A spoiler over here and a little bit of upgrades inside. Apart from that, everything, everything else is the same. You can take a look at the review that I had five years ago. I'll add in the comment. And if you need to know more about this helmet, where can you get it? Okay, back to on this question, where can you get it? MOS doesn't sell helmet, <laughs> okay? I have so much calls online. I have so much call. Uh, on WhatsApp, uh, asking me, hey, do you say helmet or not? Do you say helmet or not? No, the answer is no. I have to repeat myself again. No, 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 no. I do not sell helmet. Okay? Uh, I'm just a blogger. I'm not a shop. I do sell helmet. So if you need to know more about this helmet, you can feel free to visit uh, Shark Helmets Malaysia Facebook page. Uh, the admin is quite responsive. And uh, they have lists of uh, dealers over there in, 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 in the Facebook page. So you can ask them. All right, so that's all for today. Later, bye.